cancer, just the word alone brings fear. But the things are not as bad as it seems. The real danger is that there is so much misinformation out there and trusting them can harm your health. Today, we are going to debunk five of those biggest cancer myths. Let's get started. Many of you may have an immediate family member who had cancer and you feel that you're doomed. Or you may think that since no one in your family ever had a cancer, you have no chance of getting it. Both of these thoughts are not correct. Majority of the cancers are not inherited. The National Cancer Institute in the United States and the Canadian Cancer Society suggest that only 5-10% to of the cancers are linked to inherited genes. That means that the vast majority are caused by external factors, things like an unhealthy diet, lack of exercise, use of alcohol, smoking, and even air pollution. So while family history does matter, lifestyle plays a much bigger role. So what's the key? Leading a healthy, balanced lifestyle and undergoing regular cancer screening tests. Prevention is always better than cure. A lot of patients come to the cancer clinic terrified that getting a biopsy will somehow make the cancer spread faster. But this is a very dangerous myth that can lead to a late diagnosis. A biopsy is a crucial test that provides tissue to confirm the presence and type of cancer and in most cases treatment cannot begin without it. The American Cancer Society says that while cells may move around at a microscopic level during a biopsy, cancer spread is not common. Your surgeons follow strict medical protocols and clearly know when a biopsy is safe and when it is not. If it is bad for you, your doctor will surely tell you that. Postponing a biopsy can be risky because it delays early detection and we all know that cancer can be cured if it is diagnosed at an early stage. So this is a common question that we hear. I am on chemotherapy. Can I add sugar to my tea or coffee? Sugar, as we know, is composed of glucose. Our brain, muscles, and all the organs need glucose to function properly. Cancer cells are quite similar to our body cells, just that they have become abnormal. Eliminating sugar completely will not starve the cancer. Patients with cancer tend to lose a lot of weight, and a balanced diet with a good amount of calories is very important. This will help them cope with the side effects of cancer treatment. So what is this sugar restriction business all about? Research has shown that excessive sugar intake in a normal person can lead to obesity. So, and obesity does a lot of bad things to your body and may increase your chances of developing diabetes, high blood pressure, heart attacks, and also cancer. So it is very important to consume a healthy diet with whole foods to reduce your risk of developing cancer along with other lifestyle diseases. It would have been great if a simple herb could make the cancer go away. Unfortunately, that is not the case. We live in an era of evidence-based medicine where all the treatments that we offer, including surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, are backed by years of scientific research. As of today, there is no definite scientific proof that herbal remedies alone can treat cancer. The FDA in the United States constantly keeps warning against this trend. Then you may ask, okay, I will continue my chemotherapy. Can I take the herbal medicine along with that? Some of the alternative medicines can actually interfere with the chemotherapy, making them less effective. So if you are exploring alternative therapies, always discuss that with your doctor first. Many people still believe that a cancer diagnosis is equal to a death sentence. That is far from the truth. Most cancers diagnosed in the early stages are completely curable. Even for cancers in the late stages, we now have very effective medicines. This has improved the survival rates significantly. As we can see, for patients with breast cancer, the chances of dying in the 1990s used to be very high and now it has significantly come down. The same goes for lung cancer, colorectal cancer and many other cancers which we commonly encounter. Some types of blood cancers like chronic myeloid leukemia, CML, and some types of lymphoma are actually curable now, even in the advanced stages. 
there is so much of research going on to find new treatments and the future seems really bright. So let us summarize the key lessons for today. Misinformation about cancer can be dangerous and that is why it is very crucial to rely on science and not myths. Family history does not always determine your cancer risk. Lifestyle plays an important role. Biopsies do not spread cancer and are crucial for an early detection. Sugar does not feed cancer, but excessive intake can contribute to obesity, which increases the cancer risk. Herbal remedies do not cure cancer and can actually interfere with proper treatment. Cancer is not a death sentence and there is hope. Thank you so much for your time and patient listening. Please let me know your doubts and suggestions in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with someone who needs it. See you soon.